Welcome back, everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. I'm over here in the back of the car cleaning out all my stuff so that I can figure out if uh, I can do POTA activations back here. But another thing that I want to do also is try to figure out, you know, uh, what I want to do for field day and how do I want to deploy the antenna. And one of the things that um, I've done before on field day is to use my Bumble two meter antenna, the one that I use a lot while I travel from place to place. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked for about, a, I don't know, three months and it's time to replace it. So um, I went to my local um, you know, ham outlet uh, area uh, store and I bought a diamond antenna K400 um, S. Now, this particular mount apparently is something that a lot of people like, and I can see why. It has very nice features, um, and it seems very sturdy and strong. Okay, so I'm using this one so that I can put my um, diamond antenna, my 2 meter, 70 centimeter, and 1.2 um, meter. Uh, it's a tri-bander. Um, which is really neat so that's that's available and and it's working fine so the this video really is about could i put uh, my hustler antenna with an adapter uh, why would i want to do that because there is another version of this one and it says right here uh it says three quarters times 24 threads but really it's 3 8 right 3 8 24 uh there's a 3 8 24 version of this one so that i can put uh, my mast um that has the resonator um but before I, before i buy one of these to see if i get a good ground plane um and buy something that i might not use right why not put an adapter on the one that i have right now um so i put some adapters um, not a great idea though uh, to use but it but it's very useful uh, in a pinch but I wouldn't definitely operate that way I would get the I would get another mount on the other side of the hatchback so what happened right what what type of SWR curve do I get with this particular uh, setup right what would I get um, What's the ground plane look like with this antenna for the hustler this is going to be for the uh, 20 meter band as you can see it goes from 1400 to 14.3 let's do it let's see what happens using my rig expert wow look at that i was very shocked wow that's awesome look at that it's resonating and at the bottom part, um, it's at 1.19. Not bad. Uh, with a return loss of 21.32 dB. And the it seems like the impedance is at 57. Not bad at all, right? Um, but at 14.137, that wouldn't be um, acceptable. Because I'm usually at 3, at 14.310 or something like that. Here, let's say 14.309.80 kilohertz you're at 2.39 SWR so what I need to do is I need to move and shift the graft over so that I can have a better SWR as you might already know in this case I need to shorten the antenna how do I know that right well I know that in this particular graph, the more I go to the left, right? The more I go to the left, my left, and your left too, if you're looking at the graph, that means the waves need to get uh, bigger because the, you know, uh, 20, uh, 20 meters, 40 meters, right? The wavelength is getting bigger. But then if you want to go the other way to the right, that means the waves are getting shorter or smaller. And thus the antenna needs to get smaller and that's why in this case 
because the bottom point is at whatever it is, 1.14.142, right? And I want to push it over to the right. That means the antenna needs to shorten. And that's going to be a piece of cake um, with the set screws. I want you to realize that um, if you're using magnetic mounts and you put the resonator on there, it's going to, it, it's going to look different, right? Depending on the mount that you use and depending on the car that you use, you're always going to have to adjust it. But when you find something that you like and you, and you stick with it, you don't need to be adjusting it all the time. So again, um, if I think I will, I, I think I'm going to buy another one for the other side just to test it out, but I'm going to, I'm, I am going to get the, and I think, I guess it's this one, the four, the K4038 C version. Um, that's definitely going to be stronger than what I have right now. Right now, it just doesn't look, it, uh, it's not a very good thing that it has too many adapters placed on it so i hope uh, that was informative for you uh field day is coming up i hope you are setting something up uh, because it's really exciting that field day is coming and and this is a part of that preparation uh, again thank you very much everyone for those who did the uh, super thanks i really appreciate it and i hope uh, one one of these days we uh, can communicate i've i, I think i've talk to like three people that have uh, seen my videos so thank you very much i really appreciate that okay i'll see you later this is whiskey charlie's or oscar bye bye